Now in the next part, he will tell how he entered the Grand Central Station and how he find the way to the third level. Now he tries to narrate how he reached the third level of Grand Central Railway Station. He says one night he worked late at the office and was in a bit of hurry to get, ba to get back to his apartment fast at Uptown. Uptown is like downtown, Uptown, it's like a place. So he decided to take the subway, that is electric underground railway, as I have given one picture for your convenience, from Grand Central Station, because he felt train is faster than the bus and take less time than the bus and he will reach home soon. Now I don't know why this should have happened to me. I'm just an ordinary man. I'm just an ordinary guy named Charlie, 31 years old, and I was wearing a tan cavardine suit and a straw hat with a fancy band. I passed a dodgent man who looked just like me, and I wasn't trying to escape from anything. I just wanted to get home to Louisa, my wife. Now please underline this portion. It is the description that Charlie gave of himself. So, he doesn't understand why this should have happened to him only, because he believes that he is just like an, any other person in that city. He says his name is Charlie and he is an ordinary person of 31. Now, he gives his introduction and he is describing the clothes he was wearing. He was wearing a tan, a pale brown in color, gabardine suit, which is a tight-fitting suit, and a straw hat with a fancy band. In the book, you can see a picture of how he was dressed. He crossed about many men who were similar to him, all the common people of the New York City. He was not trying to run away from anything. He just wanted to reach home to meet his wife, Louisa, because he was already late. That means he wants to say he was not thinking or not imagining anything. He, was, he just at that day wanted to reach home to meet his wife, Louisa, because he was already late. So... He took his usual turn and entered into Grand Central from Vanderbilt Avenue and went downstairs to the first level of the Grand Central Station from where trains by the name of 20th century, which was an express passenger train, train used to run. Then he walked down another row of stairs and reached the second level. From there, from the second level, suburban trains means local trains used to run. And after that, what happened? He ducked into an arched doorway heading for the subway and got lost. So, ducked means he lowered his head. That means he lowered his head. Uh, he lowered his head to enter in an arched doorway what is an arched doorway as you can see it in the picture there was a curve at the top so that is the arched, door, uh, arched doorway and he lowered his head to enter into uh, to enter in an arched doorway to go to the local train platform but he lost his way he didn't know where to go but he said it was Nothing unusual for him because even if he had come to that station hundreds of times in several times and every time he could discover new corridors, doorways, stairs, once he had entered a tunnel which was about one mile long and when he came out of this tunnel he reached into the lobby of Roosevelt Hotel. Next time when he walked through another tunnel he reached in an office building located on 46th Street, which is three blocks away. So he wanted to say that at the Grand 
central station one can easily forget the correct path but this time when he loses his way something extraordinary happen he visits the third level